Roberta joins us. She's here. All right. How are you? Hi, Roberta. Wonderful. How are you? What a story. I'm going to have to check this out on Amazon. Your, mm -hmm. your account is so eye-opening about a billion-dollar fashion brand that many of us, myself included, yeah. never heard of. Can you share some of the red flags that ultimately made you walk away from the company? I mean, it's, it looked like it was a pretty good gig for a while. One of the first red flags that I ignored, um, Deanne, the owner, actually came up to me and she was asking me uh, questions about my business. And I told her that I was doing really well, but my husband wasn't super involved. And that was something they always talked about, making sure that the husband was involved. And because he wasn't, I asked their advice. And they said, you know, when the money starts rolling in, he'll, he'll be into it. And I said, you know, the money's already rolling in. I have a team and he's still not into it. And Deanne looked me straight in the eyes and said, well, maybe it's time for you to find a new husband then. Wow. And I remember thinking at the time, like, that actually might be easier. Wow. I mean, that just shows how no holds barred with these right. people. Right. Mm -hmm. They didn't want anything to get in the way right. of ultimately mm -hmm. making mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. Yep. The product, and in this case, the product wasn't the leggings. Roberta, you were the product. Yes, I was. Absolutely, yep. I was the product. Um, MLMs sell the idea of the possibility of success. Mm -hmm. And they make it look like the American dream. Yep. All right, we're, what's the second red flag? Lots of defective product that they were not willing to replace. They would always tell us, be a creator. Just wash them and sell them at a discount. Stick the stinky ones in the freezer. It helps with the smell. Get a little sewing kit and sew the holes yourself and just sell it at a discount. Wow. And I thought, no, that's not what a traditional business would do. You would take it back. Roberta, didn't you say that you made your first order for nine grand and you didn't get any leggings at all? At the time that I ordered, there was a leggings <laughs> shortage. Oh, yes. we, I remember hearing about that great yeah. leggings drought. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's why I didn't get my leg. There, right. was, there were no leggings available. I actually had to reach out to <laughs> other consultants who had already onboarded and ask them if they were willing to sell me a few pairs of leggings. So I was already starting off with leggings that they couldn't sell. Wow. That's, that's a Big red, red flag. flag.